Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, in development of surfaces, we are going to solve a question where a hexagonal pyramid is cut by two cutting blades. The question says a hexagonal pyramid, 30 mm side, 60 mm height, stand on HP on its base with a side of base parallel to VP. Look at this. I have drawn a hexagonal pyramid with one side parallel to XY line. I have drawn the plan A, B, C, D, E, F and projected the elevation A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, height 60. And I have marked the dimensions also. Third, side 30, height 60. This is cut by two cutting planes. One is at 30 degrees to HP and the other is at 60 degrees to HP and the two cutting planes meet, meet the axis of the core of pyramid 20 mm above the base. The two cutting planes, one is at 30 degrees and the other is at 60 degrees, meet the axis of the pyramid 20 mm above the base. So I locate a point 20 mm above the base on the axis. And at 30, 30 degree angle, I draw a line, and at 60 degree angle, I draw another line. 30 degrees, 60 degrees. That is the cutting plane. You are asked to draw the development of the bottom part of the pyramid. Removing the common portion of the top removed, common portion cut by the two cutting planes, that is this part is removed, this bottom part is to be kept. First of all, I am drawing the full development. To draw the full development, I need the true length of standard view, which is O dash A dash or O dash D dash. Take that, choose O anywhere and draw a big arc. Take a starting point, take the distance AB 30 mm, draw arc, 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 arc. Connect A, B by straight line, B, C by straight line, C, D, D, E, E, F and F, A. Six triangular isosceles triangular pieces. Can draw the bottom part also. Usually that is not required because in such cases the lateral surface development is what is expected. Okay. I have drawn the full development now. Now this is the cutting plane. I am going to mark the points. The cutting plane cut O dash, A dash at 1 dash, O dash, B dash and O dash, F dash at 2 dash, 8 dash. Then... 3 dash and 7 dash are not on the axis but on the line connecting O dash to the center of BC, M dash, center of BC, M, OM. OM has got 3 dash, 3. So O dash, M dash has got 3 dash, then O dash, E dash, C dash has got the 4 dash and 6 dash, and O dash, D dash has got the 5 dash. So 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. I to reproduce them in the development. 1 dash is already on true length. 1 dash is already on true length. Take this O1 and the mark. What do I get? I get 1 and here also a 1. 2 dash and 8 dash are on O dash, B dash and O dash, F dash. O dash, B, OB and OF. Where are they? They are not. You cannot take them directly from this. Draw horizontal line. Cut the true length. Q1 dash. Take the distance and the mark to get 2 and what? 8. 3 dash and M dash let it be there. Let it remain there. 4 dash and 6 dash are on OE, OC and OE. Go to true length. Get 4 1 dash. Take the distance and mark for 6. 5. 5 on OD. 5. 5. What about 3 and 7. 3 is on OM and 7 is on ON. O dash M dash is 3 dash. O dash M dash is behind it. That is 7 dash. This OM, O dash M dash is not equal to this OM. M is marked at the center of DC. Center of DC, OM. M. Center of EF. Center of EF, N. So this OM is not equal to O dash M dash. This ON is not equal to O dash M dash. So what you have to do? You have to find the true length. O a center. O M as radius, draw an arc. I get what? M1. Project it to XY line. I get what? M1 dash. Connect it to O dash. That is true length. Now draw horizontal line through 3 dash, 7 dash to cut it. That is 3, 1 dash. Take the distance, it coincides. Take the distance. And mark on what OM three ON seven. Agreed. 
Now, now after getting the points, connect them by straight lines. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8 and 8 to 1. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8 and 8 to 1. That is how you draw it. Now, O1, O1 equals O dash 1, 1 dash, 1 dash, O dash, 1 dash. O2 equals O8 equals O dash 2, 1 dash. This is 2, 1 dash. This is 2, 1 dash. O3 O3 we will mark later. O4 equals O6 equals O dash 4 1 dash. This is 4 1 dash. O5 equals O dash 5 dash. Agreed? Where are they? They are taken from from TL of slant edge. True length of slant edge. What about O3? O3 equals O7 equals O dash 3 1 dash. This is 3 1 dash. Where is it taken from? From TL of OM. TL of OM. Agreed? From true length of OM. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, and 8, 1. The crux in this problem is this 3 and 7. In all problems, there will be a crucial point which a student has to be very careful about. In this problem, these 3 and 7 are two such points. You cannot directly take them. You have to get them from the true length. So the true length of that has to be found out. How did we find the true length? O as center, O M as radius. We have cut an arc to get M1 and then projected it to X, Y line to get M1 dash and then join to O dash to get true length. Instead of that, you can take, you get this M and the N connect them to O, this is the true length, you can take this OM and O dash as center, cut an arc on XY line, you will get the same M1 dash. Agreed? You need not find the true length like this. This true length is equal to this OM, you know that. Therefore, you connect, connect this O to this M, take the distance in your compass, O dash as center, cut an arc on XY line, you will get the same M1 dash. That way also you can do, instead of finding the true length by making OM parallel to XY line. Okay, not a difficult question. Okay, you can draw the sectional plan if you want. Draw all the points down, drop all the points down to the plan, slant edges to get the plan. What about 3 and 7? You have to go to the draw OM and OL, go to its, go to any other, go to the true line, go to the true line, go to the true line, come here and draw an arc. Agree? You cannot, you cannot go, you, you have to make OM parallel to XY, get M1, project M1 dash, get it there and then come back to the respective OM and OL. You cannot take it from any other slanted. You have to make it parallel to XY, get it there and then draw horizontal line, drop it down and then draw an arc. I hope you understand. If you are happy with this uh, content of this video, please subscribe my channel, share it and like it. Okay. Thank you.